This is the largest and the richest race on the off-road racing circuit. And we have a crowd for you today. Over 439 cars and drivers are entered here in the mid-race from the U.S., from Canada, Mexico, Japan, and Europe. It's four laps around, 400 miles on one of the roughest, toughest off-road race courses with over $120,000 in prize money. Coming into contingency row, I see two members of the BF Goodrich Performance Racing Team. Goodrich is well represented here today at the Mint 400. Car number 235, that's car number 235, a Chevy Blazer, driven by Frank Scoop Bessels of Los Alamitos. Right behind him, car number 247, number 247. This is the sister Blazer to Scoop Bessels' car. The driver is Bobby Gordon, and his co-driver is Gary Pace. Oh, you got a couple of drivers. What a feather for good luck. A feather for good luck. This is a feather for good luck. Do you think? Is that guaranteed we finish? Yeah. How come you got more feathers than the rest of us? I like him better. Oh, what is this? Hey. Come back. Give me a big one. I feel yeah, I'd like a big one. Feel left out. You're gonna, right. I think mine's bigger than yours is. and a menagerie of four-wheel vehicles now lined up on the Harbor Road, ready to go. Bob Gordon, the defending champion in his class. Unlimited engine size, two-seaters, first in the line and ready to roll out. itself. Bob Gordon maintains his lead overall in the four-wheel divisions. Gary Pace rides with him. Bob Gordon, who won this race in 1980, heading east from Ojos Negros, which in Spanish means black eyes. There are puddles in the sandy road, and Gordon, dodging them, is pushing hard. I always felt a flash of elation out here. The car in its element, running 100, 110 sometimes. The chill of dawn in Ensenada behind you. The sun, up now, warming you. No, the Baja is my number one race. I love it down here. It's just, you have all types of conditions here. You're going to have the Gulf side with, with the, possibly it could be 80, 90 degrees on the Gulf side, rain, and then rain on the Pacific side. It's just no other where else can you race and come up with those conditions. Is there any sense of... Uh, kind of man struggling against nature down here uh, in your mind, or do you see it uh, just as man against man? I see it as man against man down here. That's the way I attack the race. It's high noon 
on the Baja, on the fastest part of the race course, Bob Gordon still leads. Bob Gordon, with the final roar of the engine, crosses the line. 13 hours, 15 minutes, and 4 seconds after the run began. He's averaged nearly 52 miles an hour. Now Bobby Gordon, the American gun, just about to take off. We've heard so much about this driver, aged 41 from California in America, and we are expecting big things from Bob Gordon. An incredible winning record in the States. Um, the top contender, if you talk about the winning drives in the States, uh, as Bobby Gordon is always the name that's used these days. Very strong jump, very strong motor car. A little bit heavier than the Australian, but big jump there. That's the biggest one today. He didn't pull off at all he there, did he? certainly didn't back But off. it looks like this man, Bob Gordon, on your screen now, the American gun is five seconds quicker. A remarkable five seconds quicker in just one lap. Yeah, another full-on attack there. That, that's spectacular stuff. That That's... Uh, well, you don't see that every day of the week. Bob, congratulations. Uh, you came out here a stranger, but you've uh, you blitzed it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, kind of had our work cut out for us. These guys run awful fast. I was really surprised. So uh, what did you have to do to counter that? Was there any have to change your thinking? Uh, well, our car isn't near as quick in a straight line as these guys, so we just had to fly the jumps a little harder and, you know, and go into the corners, corners a little bit deeper. And here's Bob Gordon apparently having a better day than either his son Robbie or good friend Scoop. Bob in car 121 running very well on this first lap. Bob and Robbie teamed up to win the overall title here at Parker in 1987. The number two on the line, Bob Gordon. He will have his 18-year-old daughter, Robin, co-riding with him for at least half the race. And a lead change. Here comes Bob Gordon into the pits, taking over the lead from Larry Raglan. Raglan is reporting to his crew engine trouble. Meanwhile, this looks to be a routine pit stop for Bob Gordon, our lead. Error-free driving by Bob Gordon and extensive pre-running that paid off. Well, our winner of the 23rd running of the Baja 1000. Well, it is now just a little bit under 13 hours since you left the start line this morning, Bob. It's been a long day, but I guess a profitable one. Yeah, it's been a little bit tough, but we've had just almost a perfect run all day. Uh, I lost a little bit of the power steering and the rough stuff, but on the roads it was fine, but in the rough I just killed my hands. But other than that, we had a flawless run. Really, who is Bob Gordon, you know? To me, Bob Gordon really is, he is off-road racing. Just a, a great person, uh, somebody that uh, had a big heart, you know, uh, helped a lot of people in business as well as off-road racing. Uh, I believe he was probably one of the best innovators in off-road racing in regards to how he prepped a car, how he built the car. Um, you know, and, 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 and when he, we built, he, he built his cars, people emulated that. When they saw his car, they started doing the same thing, and, and then he went to the next generation and did something different, bigger trailing arms in the front. I mean, it's just a combination of a lot of different things, and very, very smart in regards to what he was doing. and. Um, and a great race car driver.